let's talk about how to optimize your LinkedIn profile. This might hopefully increase your chances for exciting opportunities that exist on this platform. I'll walk through three actionable steps you can implement today, which I'm gonna use Adobe Express for. I'm Phil Pallant, a brand strategist, a content creator, and a proud Adobe Express ambassador. Hit subscribe to this channel to get helpful tips as part of a series. Now, let's jump right in. Adobe Express is my favorite tool for designing beautiful graphics for your social media platforms and not just posts. I'm also talking about your social media profiles too. Specifically, today we're talking about LinkedIn. Here's my LinkedIn profile. See that profile cover up top? Well, I designed that in Adobe Express. That is my first tip. Have an eye-catching LinkedIn profile cover. Ideally, more than just another photo of you, something that tells us a little bit more about you, something that might be important to you or your career or your industry. In mind, the media coverage that I've amassed as a brand strategist might help convey to people that I am in fact an industry expert. That's why I've added logos of media publications that I've appeared in. You don't necessarily need to do exactly the same thing, but consider what might add a little punch to your profile. Maybe a quote or a photo of you speaking on stage. Those are just a few ideas. You can create a LinkedIn profile cover from scratch by heading to the dashboard and selecting custom size under create a new project. From there, you'll select social profile and scroll over to see and select profile cover for LinkedIn. That's if you wanna design something from scratch. Now, what about starting from a template? I'm a big fan of this option because templates in Adobe Express are beautiful and there are thousands of them. This might save you some time and give you some design ideas. To create your LinkedIn profile cover from a template, click on the templates icon and type LinkedIn or LinkedIn cover. That keyword will bring up lots of great options that serve as a perfect starting point. Once you've made your selection, you can get customizing, changing text and fonts, including font recommendations, also colors, and you can apply your brand, which is really easy in Adobe Express. In fact, it's a single click. That's how easy it is to start from a template when designing your LinkedIn profile cover. Now, hopping back over to my LinkedIn profile, that leads me to tip number two. Choose a strong profile photo. This is a photo of you that looks bigger on your profile, but keep in mind, it's normally displayed as a really small little thumbnail, so I recommend cropping it as close as possible to your face, and that is easy to do in Adobe Express. Back in Express from the dashboard, I'll select Custom Size again. Under the Popular tab, I'll choose Square and hit Next. This will create a canvas where I can place a photo that I'd like to use as my profile photo. I'll select Photos and then Upload Photo and play around with the crop until I get it perfect. Again, a nice close crop is best for social media platforms like LinkedIn. When you're satisfied, select Download at the top and PNG or JPEG will work well for this. Now, I have one more tip for you on optimizing your LinkedIn profile, and it actually has less to do with your profile and more to do with being active on the platform. In fact, fewer people are active on LinkedIn in comparison to other popular social media platforms like Facebook or Instagram, and LinkedIn wants you to be active. So the reach on this platform is incredible. That's why I'm a fan of posting updates and even articles like you can see here. Articles on LinkedIn are similar to blog posts that you might read or even write for your own website, and they're displayed on your profile. They are composed of ideas, discussion points, even advice that you might have. And what about a visual for those posts? Adobe Express to the rescue. So we're back here on the dashboard. Once again, we'll select custom size and then social post. Scroll over until you find LinkedIn blog post and hit next. This creates a blank canvas, optimally sized for a LinkedIn article or blog post, same thing. You can design something simple, maybe setting a background color that's on brand. And since I've got my brand set up in Adobe Express, it's really easy for me to choose one of my brand colors from the menu. And then I could add a shape on top. On the menu, select shapes and choose from many basic or more intricate shape designs. I'll see what comes up with the keyword rays, since that's what my blog post is about. I love this chart icon, which feels very on brand. 
and I'll choose a color that I like for it, position it properly, and if I'm happy, I'll hit that download button up at the top and I'll upload it along with my LinkedIn article. Now, while we're here in Adobe Express, I also wanna show you one more possibility for a blog post image, and that's choosing one from millions of wonderful options from the Adobe Stock Collection. Under the Photos tab, you can enter a search term, and I'll do Raise again, and I'll find an image that I can use. There are so many awesome options from the Adobe Stock Collection. I'm always impressed. I'll make any final adjustments here, and then I've got another perfect option that I could use for my LinkedIn blog post or article. That is how you optimize your LinkedIn profile using Adobe Express. Three actionable steps that you can implement today. I can't wait for you to try Adobe Express for yourself. Don't forget to stay tuned to this channel for more actionable tips weekly to create more, create better, and create faster. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more great tutorials on this YouTube channel.